Let's get into some fun stuff. This is element two, the technician exam. This is sub element eight alpha. And we're talking about modes of the radio. Which of the following is a form of amplitude modulation? You have these four choices, but single sideband is a form of amplitude modulation. So if you look here at the chart, you can see single sideband is right there. And the second one, AM is basically a spitting image of it, but it has a signal on both sides with a carrier. So there is a difference between single sideband has a suppressed carrier, AM does not. So let's go to the next question. It says, what type of modulation is commonly used for VHF packet radio transmissions? The answer is FM or PM. That's frequency modulation or phase modulation and I don't have a phase modulation but it looks pretty much like FM and you can see FM this is a voice but packet would have uh, it, that's what it would sound like it was sound crazy uh, packets really fun if you want to get into it as a technician because you can use two meters you can use the space station there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with that all right the third question what type of voice mode is often used for long distance or weak signal contacts on the VHF and UHF bands? Now, the majority of you are going to get started with FM. That's not for weak signal. SSB, single sideband, it uses less energy than FM. The bandwidth and the usage of the power is greater with single sideband. So when you're using VHF and UHF bands, if you can use single sideband, and some rigs have all modes for UHF and VHF, and if you can get your hands on one of those, single sideband when you have a VHF and UHF opening can be a lot of fun. What type of modulation is commonly used for VHF and UHF voice repeaters? And again, that's going to be FM or PM. Most voice repeaters that you talk to are going to be frequency modulation. So these rigs right here are frequency modulated. Which of the following types of signal has the narrowest bandwidth? Well, let's bring that chart back up. If you look at it, CW is really skinny, isn't it? In fact, CW has about a bandwidth of 150 hertz. That's 0.15 of a kilohertz. Single sideband is about 3 kilohertz. AM is about 6 kilohertz. If, there, if your radio and amplifier are uh, in good shape. And then FM can be 10 to 15 kilohertz wide. So honking huge that uh that that should show you right there and give you a visual idea about which one is the most efficient which sideband is normally used for 10 meter hf vhf and uhf single sideband communications and that is the upper sideband now there's upper sideband and then there's lower sideband and if we go back and look at the AM, the AM, you can see across the middle line there, which is the carrier, you have upper sideband is on the right side and lower sideband is on the left side. So the SSB that you see right here is probably a lower sideband SSB. They're sort of a mirror of each other. And that... Uh, answers that question upper sideband is usually what's used on 10 meters hf vhf and uhf and that is where a technician has their voice privileges what is a characteristic of single sideband compared to fm single sideband signals have a narrower bandwidth Question number eight, what is the approximate bandwidth of a typical single sideband voice signal? And that is three 
kilohertz. What is the approximate bandwidth of a VHF repeater FM voice signal? And that's going to be between 10 and 15 kilohertz. Again, looking back, you can see that FM is really, really wide. In fact, it's not quite the scale in this picture. It should be just a tad bit wider than that, especially when you compare that to the AM is only 6 kilohertz wide. That FM should be a lot wider than that. All righty, we're almost to the end of this one. What is the approximate bandwidth of AM, and that's your hint, AM, amplitude modulation, fast scan, TV transmissions. AM is still about 6 something, but this is 6 megahertz wide. I do not have a picture of this one. 6 megahertz would probably cover this entire picture. So... Fast scan uses a lot of bandwidth. What is the approximate bandwidth required to transmit a CW signal? We went over that. That's 150 hertz. Very narrow. And the last question. Which of the following is a disadvantage of FM compared with single sideband? Now this can't be shown on a chart. Only one signal of FM can be received at a time. So whoever has the strongest signal in FM is definitely going to win. FM, even if there is no voice, there is still a transmission. So if I were to turn this radio on and hush, it would transmit regardless. So whoever is going to have the strongest signal is going to get selected. Alrighty, so that is section or sub element eight alpha and i hope that one hasn't been too much for you i'm robbie w1 rcp we'll catch you next time